In the last few videos, we learned about some of the basics of object-oriented programming in PHP, including classes, objects, interfaces, inheritance, and polymorphism. In this video, we're going to cover a couple of advanced OOP techniques, traits, and abstract classes. A trait is a way to reuse code in multiple classes, similar to how a class can inherit from another class. The main difference is that a trait can be used in multiple different classes, whereas with inheritance, which we learned about last time, a class can only inherit from one other class. For example, let's say we have a logger trait that has a method for logging messages. Now let's say we have two classes that need logging functionality, products and articles. We can use this logger trait in both classes using the use keyword like this. This means that now both product and article classes have access to the log method defined in the logger trait. This is without having to duplicate the definition of that log method in both classes. Okay, next up, abstract classes. An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated on its own. It has to be extended by another class. Abstract classes are useful for defining a common set of methods that the subclass can implement in their own way. For example, let's say that we have an abstract class called payment method. This class has the method charge defined in it. Now, let's say that we have two other classes that implement different payment methods. We'll go with credit card and PayPal. We can have these classes extend the base payment method class and provide their own implementation of that charge method. By using an abstract class as a base class, we've defined a common interface for different payment methods that ensure that each subclass of that payment method implements the necessary charge method. This is similar to interfaces that we learned about in the last episode. And you might now be thinking, well, Z, which one is better? And well, it's not really accurate to say that one is better than the other as both interfaces and abstract methods serve different purposes and can be useful in different situations. Here are a few things to consider when deciding whether to use an interface or an abstract method. First up, interfaces are good when you want to specify a set of methods that a class must implement, but you don't want to provide any implementation. This can be useful when you want to define a common set of methods that will be used by multiple different classes, but you want each class to provide their own implementation. This is what we learned about last time. Whereas abstract methods are good when you want to define a base class that has some common behaviors or common functionality, but you want subclasses to provide their own implementation for certain methods. This can be useful when you want to define a set of methods that will be used by all subclasses, but you want those subclasses to have the flexibility to implement the methods in their own way. Ultimately, the choice between using interfaces and abstract methods will depend on your specific requirements and the design of your code base. It's important to choose the approach that benefits you for your needs and will help you write clean code. You want to make sure this is as maintainable as possible. And that's it. That's a brief overview of traits and abstract classes in PHP. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about scopes and modifiers. Thank you for watching and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss the rest of this series. Peace out.